What's up, my name is Technobo here for Chuckleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be covering Discord's new feature that they added with a very recent update. If we go ahead and open up our server settings by clicking our service name, then service settings, we'll see a new membership screening tab over here. It'll probably have a new icon next to it for you. Inside of here, we have the option to set up rules that new members must explicitly agree to before they can talk, react, or DM to other members. What exactly is this? Well, if you've ever joined a server where you have to click accept and a rules bot gives you a role or something like that, this is basically what it is. Users will be prompted with the rules when they join your server and they'll have to accept them before they can use it. Before we get into this video, you will need community enabled on your Discord server. If you're not too sure how to do that, make sure to check the description down below for a video on that. And after you have that set up, this option should be available to you. So if you'd like to use this, simply click set up membership screening on this tab over here to start it on your server. Then we see this here. Just so you know, your changes are saved automatically. Don't forget to enable it when you're finished. So a description, briefly describe what your server is about. New members will see this when they try to join. So what exactly is my Techno community? Well, it's a place for announcements and discussions on Technobo or troubleshoot videos and software. Next up, we have the question section over here. We can add a whole bunch of options as soon as they come out. For now, we can only set rules that people must apply to. In the future though, people will be able to give short answers, long answers, answer multiple choice, or even connect different accounts, I would assume, to use your server properly. I would assume that these ones over here would be useful for something like, say, an RP server, where they send in a bunch of answers to a bunch of questions, and moderators will say, yes, they're allowed in, or no, they're not. Currently, we can only add server rules by clicking this button here. Basically, when you do, you'll be given a prompt that you can enter and set multiple rules that people must agree to when they join the server. So rule number one, I'll say no spam. Add a rule. Rule number two, don't ask for one-on-one -on -one tech support. This is not a tech support community. You may discuss with other members. And you can add basically as many of these as you want. So I'll use some of these example roles down here. Say, be civil and respectful, no spam or self-promotion, and help keep things safe. This adds three basically templates that we can customize or leave as is. Now that you've set up your rules, simply click save and they'll appear under this section here. Read and agree to the server rules. Then they'll have a simple checkbox that they can tick, and after they verify their email, which is defined in the moderation settings, they'll be able to use the server. These two fields are basically what they need to agree to now. In the future, they'll be able to fill in short answers, long answers, multiple choice, connect other accounts, etc., etc., as shown here. Currently, it's just server rules, and it gives them a prompt to verify their email if you've defined this in the moderation settings. Once you've got this done, simply click enable at the very top, and you'll see this here. Now, of course, you won't see much change. How do we get it to work? Well, all we have to do is simply generate a server invite, which I'll copy and I'll open it in a private tab of my browser. By doing this, we'll be creating a new account. So I'll click continue to Discord. From here, we'll either create a new alt account or we'll join using an existing alt account that we kick from the server. After logging in, we'll see the server as you'd expect. Now, of course, I'm not in it just yet, but after pasting in the link, joining the server once again, we see this here. We have our little intro section over here that we showed in another video, which will be linked in the description down below. We covered the community overview settings over here and getting all of these set up. After I close out of this welcome screen, we see this here. Clicking across from channel to channel, all that we see is you must complete a few more steps before you can talk. All right, so I'll click complete and we see this here. After you agree to these rules, you'll be able to talk in the Discord server. So I agree to do none of these. I'll click submit and automatically we're given the ability to talk in every single channel. If we have a look on the side, there's nothing special on us compared to any other users. There's no extra roles given by this yet. I'm not too sure if you'll get roles in the future, but after doing this, you'll be able to use the server much as you'd expect. If we were to leave the server, you'll have to accept the rules once again. So at this point, you're basically done. You can leave it and everything's complete. There's nothing else to worry about. And of course, if you'd like to change it in the future, it'll still be there under the same section where we can edit it by clicking the pen over here. So the self-promotion channel is actually self-promo. I can change that by just clicking the pen and editing my message as such, clicking save, and the rules will be adjusted for the next person who joins. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Techno, but you have a troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.